I'm Dara Brawley, and I'm the Assistant Director of the Center for Spatial Research here at GSAP. And I'm going to be introducing the center to you for this virtual open house for prospective students through a few of our recent projects. So um, CSR was uh, founded in 2015, um, and we are a grant-funded center um, that uh, does research that links architecture, design, and urban planning um, to data science um, and often um, deals with issues uh, with a social justice focus. Um, our primary medium that we use in our work is maps. Um, CSR is directed by Laura Kurgan, who is a professor of architecture and also directs the visual studies sequence of the MRF program. And you'll likely encounter her elsewhere um, in this virtual open house space. So I'll just talk through um, uh, one of um, our recent projects um, to just to start off and give some context for the, the kind of work that we do at CSR um, and the ways that students are able to get involved in that work. So this project um, in plain sight was one that I especially enjoyed working on um, uh, back in 2018. Um, and it's a project about the uneven distribution of electricity worldwide. Um, and in it, we looked for anomalies um, in two different global data sets. One of um, a population from censuses aggregated from around the globe, and the other um, satellite images of the Earth at night revealing um, nighttime lights. And by looking at places where these two data sets didn't align, we were able to find um, places where there are bright lights and no people, and places where there are people um, but no lights. So in a 20 minute um, animated uh, film, um, we move back and forth um, from um, global views like these um, into a series of zooms where we narrate through specific examples of the types of, of spaces or places um, we found where um, that these conditions exist, places with bright lights um, where there are no counted populations. Um, so one um, example um, here uh, focuses on um, natural gas extraction um, and a, a pipeline um, from a natural gas plant um, that travels through the Peruvian Amazon um, and puts indigenous populations at risk. And one of the things that we highlight um, through the map and through our analysis um, is that in each of these um, specific examples, um, they're really just one example among many of similar phenomena. So these are um, other hundreds of oil and gas plants um, that show up as bright spots um, um, at night across, across the world and highlight these conditions of um, global uh, inequality um, and, and potential environmental risk. So this is a, a 20 minute animated film that, and you can watch the full um, film online through our website. Um, and CSR produced this in collaboration with Diller Stripidio and Renfro and Robert uh, Gerard Petrusco. It was a very big project team um, that included uh, several um, graduate students working with us um, at CSR um, and also others um, with those other collaborators um, and was it was installed um, at the U.S. Pavilion of the um, Venice Architecture um, Biennial. Um, so this project gives you a little bit of a sense of um, the kinds of questions that we take on in our work at CSR and um, the approaches uh, uh, to, to, to that research that we take um, methodologically and also aesthetically. Um, and so I'll step back out for a second to say that in general, um, our work covers really a wide range of topics and is often conducted um, in collaboration with others. Um, all of these projects re require big teams and represent the work of many people. Um, and we often work uh, with activists, with architects. Um, uh, we have a large collaboration with historians at the moment. Um, and in those collaborations um, and in research that we initiate, we bring um, methods and data visualization, geographic information systems, information design and spatial research 
um, to these projects. So we often present um, our work through in a, a number of different formats, um, through exhibitions, um, um, in many different um, kinds of places, through publications, um, books, and, and journal articles. Um, this is an edited volume based on um, a conference that we held um, recently um, that came out last fall. Um, and in addition, we also often produce um, web-based projects um, in taking the form of interactive maps um, and other uh, forms of um, web-based uh, research and presentation. And students are involved um, in many aspects of all um, of this work. Um, in addition to um, research, um, CSR faculty and uh, researchers um, offer, also offer courses each semester, um, both design seminars and methods focused courses um, on topics and research approaches that are related to the ongoing work um, within the center. Um, and these are courses that are open to students from across the programs um, at GSAP and are another key way that students um, get involved and get exposure to the kinds of uh, methods that we use in our work. So I'll close by um, sharing another, our, our most recent project um, that we're really excited um, to be launching um, this week, in fact, um, the, the week of Open House, um, that is a, a project um, called Mapping the New Politics of Care, um, in which we um, look at uh, the geographies of community vulnerability in the context of um, COVID-19 in the US. Um, and I'll just switch over um, to the browser to, to show you this project because it's um, an interactive map. And um, so uh, in the project, um, we are uh, recognizing that um, vulnerabilities that have predated the pandemic um, have fueled uneven effects across the United States and the uneven effects of, of the disease that we've seen. Um, and um, in our project and in our maps, we propose um, the contours, the shape for uh, a new deal um, for public health and a community health core of um, 1 million uh, community health workers to address both the longstanding inequalities embedded in the social and political landscape of the US um, and to address the immediate needs um, of the pandemic. So together with um, colleagues at the Yale School of Public Health, we've made maps that visualize multiple scenarios for where um, workers um, should be allocated um, state by state based on COVID impacts, as well as pre-existing health, um, social and economic and systemic factors. Um, and as well um, in the project by um, allowing folks to compare between these different types of vulnerability, um, we also uncover the stark differences in the geographies of different types of vulnerability um, that might be able to help sh to shape um, policy responses to the pandemic. So I encourage you um, to explore this project um, and others um, on the CSR website, which you can access um, via the GSAP um, open house page. Um, uh, this site gives an overview of our program, um, current projects, as well as the um, amazing team um, working at, at CSR um, right now. And hope to meet you all um, sometime in the future. Thanks so much.